Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp, aka Lickety Split, and today I have kind of a unique pomade review for you, and that is the oil-based Slick Times Heavy Hold. Now, the people over at Slick Times uh, contacted me and were kind enough to send their pomades overseas to me to review, and uh, I thought I would start off with the Heavy Hold. Not only do I like Heavy Holds, but they also um, seem to work the best with my hair. Uh, now, what makes this unique is that this is supposed to be a heavy holding pomade that um, not only is slick, but also will hold up in the heavy heat. Uh, presentation wise, I really like it. It uh, has just a pretty simple logo. Uh, it looks kind of old school. And uh, the other two, the medium and the light, look like this too, but the uh, color is different. The color is also the same on the back, and it says... Uh, Formulated to provide heavy hold and natural shine, this pomade will keep your hair high and tight. It has the directions and the ingredients. The ingredients are petroleum, beeswax, microcrystalline wax, who got it right that time, lanolin, mineral oil, coconut oil, castor oil, fragrance, and aloe vera. The scent on the website says it's supposed to be a fruity scent. Unfortunately, I don't get that. It's more of like... It reminds me of kind of like uh, Pomp's Not Dead Daily Grind, like kind of like a new shoe, a, a new uh, shoe type synthetic smell. Uh, my barber told me it reminded him of a furniture warehouse. There's a very slight fruity undertone, but this definitely isn't fruity in my opinion. Now that's not a bad thing because I actually kind of like the way it smells, but it doesn't smell fruity. Uh, the scoopability on this is uh, really easy for a heavy. I'm putting very little pressure in. Comes out uh, nice and creamy, which I like. <clears throat> the breakdown on it is uh, really, really smooth. But uh, you can tell that you have a heavy holding pomade because there's still going to be some residue on your hands. Uh, with these types of heavy holding pomades, I like to warm them up really good. It's almost all the way gone. Application is good as well. Um, it's one of those types of pomades that I always refer to that uh, it goes in your hair and it doesn't feel aggressive. Uh, you might get a little bit of tug of pull and as always with heavies you will get um, a couple of stray hairs here and there. But uh, not a bad application uh, at all. <clears throat> in fact, I would say it's rather smooth for a heavy. Uh, now let's kind of comb through it with the applicator brush. And it's also uh, not too bad, like I was saying, uh, kind of trailed off there, but this is one of those pomades that has a little bit of weight to it that you can feel that there's a pomade in your hair. Now I only put one scoop in as well, cutting myself off, because I um, already had a few scoops in. Uh, started putting it in my hair and thought, I'll just do a review on it. So uh, it goes in with the applicator brush really easy, no tugging and pulling. And uh, same with slickability, except for there's gonna be a little bit of tension, not too much. It definitely isn't the slickest pomade, but uh, I would say it's slick enough to live up to the name Slick Times. <laughs> uh, the unique characteristics about this is that it comes off as a really waxy pomade, and funny enough, it when you're putting it in and you first are dealing with it, it's really dry. It's a really dry pomade. So if you're a fan of really dry pomades, you'll like this. But um, like most pomades, when you go out in the sun, it'll soften up a bit. Now this doesn't soften up to the point to where it's unusable, but it definitely softens up to where it becomes a little bit more manageable. Uh, but it isn't something that's going to uh, turn into an oily mess. Uh, I actually like how it feels when you put it in but um, I like it more after it gets some heat. I feel like it just becomes a more versatile product at that point. Stylability on this is, uh, it's pretty easy to deal with, uh, especially, I'll be honest with you, I just got a haircut. My barber just uh, gave me a pretty good uh, shorter cut, so it's a little bit easier for me uh, to style with. Now granted, uh, it is a heavy, but uh, you can see I haven't cut the video and uh, I got a pretty decent rounder pomp going and uh, I really used uh, no effort in doing so. So that's one good thing uh, about this pomade is that for a heavy holding pomade it definitely 
um, is really slick and uh, really manageable. And I think honestly, that's gonna just do it for me right now. Got like almost like a little, <laughs> it's almost too easy to style with. <laughs> Uh, the longevity on this is I've been wearing this at work for a while and uh, this will definitely hold up. Um, now, like I said, it will lose a tiny bit of its hold. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say it's on the lighter side of a heavy. I would almost say this is like a true heavy because it will when it has the heat applied to it. Right now it feels pretty heavy, but once you get some heat in there and it becomes a little bit more manageable, and your head starts warming up, whether you're out in the sun or just kind of running around, the pomade becomes, I feel like, its true form. It becomes almost like a true heavy. Uh, but overall, I, uh, I like this pomade. I think it's good. Um, I think it's easy to work with. And I definitely think that um, for what it's going for, it works really well. I do wish that the scent was a little bit different, to be honest with you, uh, but you know, other than that, I don't have really many problems with it. My overall thoughts are uh, this is a good pomade that will hold up in the sun. If you are one of my brother and sisters that lives in Indonesia or in that area where this is distributed more easily, I would say pick it up. Uh, it's pretty good overall. I would give it a 3.8 out of 5. This is a good pomade. Um, you definitely can't go wrong with it and it will hold up in the heat and it will uh, last you all day and that's the one thing I like about it the other thing is if you're not a fan of buildup uh, I find that this product washes out really really easy for a uh, heavy and it complements the medium really well which will be my next review uh, so where you can get this is you can contact uh, slick times on instagram and on facebook and i'll put a link in the description below um, and you can talk to them about shipping um, overseas uh, hopefully uh, he'll be talking to uh, tadashi soon uh, in order to get this to america but i definitely think that this is a pomade that is unique and uh, you should check it out uh, especially if you like dry pomades that are a lot um, that are pretty manageable and easy to work with so let me know if you've tried this and if you like it and um, I hope you have a good week. <laughs>